So you'll learn all about that in the story. So when we're done reading the story, I'll let you guys have a chance to ask some questions. And we'll have a special guest that'll be here. She'll try to answer the, some, some of the questions, but she mostly barks. So I don't know if you'll be able to understand what she says. All right. <laughs> you'll find out. So, Reese the Blind Dachshund, a true story. All right. What I'll do is I'll read a page and then I'll, I'll turn it around so you guys can see it, okay? If that works for you? All right, I'll go like this. Reese was born in Louisiana. We don't know much about that part of her life, but what we do know is that she ended up in an animal shelter and then eventually on a bus headed north. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's Reese. <laughs> She's the little one in the middle. She's a dachshund, as you, I don't know if you're... After traveling many long miles, she spent her first night in a new shelter close to our family in the state of Maine. She had a lot of noisy neighbors who were also hoping to find a new home. Can you see? There's Reese right in the middle with a bunch of noisy neighbors. Mama fell in love with this scared little dachshund at first sight. This page over here. Our house was full, but Mama felt that we had more room in our hearts and she wanted to adopt a little dog. She made a trip to the animal shelter and a shy little dachshund named Reese simply stole her heart. The kind person working at the desk said it would be best to take her home right away, just in case someone else came in and wanted to adopt her. Mama really wanted to make sure her family was okay with it before she brought this sweet little dog home. So you can see here, it's five o'clock and they're about to close. Now we're on this page over here. I'm going to switch this way. Most of the family loved the idea of adoption. Dad was still a little nervous about a, how a new family member would fit into their busy and full life. Mama headed back to the shelter early the next day. Unfortunately, someone ahead of her in line wanted to adopt Reese. She just needed to introduce the little dachshund to her dog. Mama was heartbroken. She told the helpful front desk person she would be out in her car just in case. You can see Mama's heartbroken right there. Uh, I'm going to keep switching like this. I'm sorry, guys. It's just easier for me. Mama was sad. She, wa she, waited, she went to her car and waited, not daring to hope. Suddenly, the kind woman from the shelter tapped on her window. The other person had changed her mind about the adoption. Reese was still available. You can see that mom right there. Reese moved into her new home with us on a wintry Maine day. She had probably never seen snow before. She did not like the icy weather, but it was warm in the house. She cozied up with her new family. We were all very excited to meet her. Only Dad was still not sure how he felt about this new addition to the family. Guess who Dad is, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> Good guess. You can see the pictures. You'll find out more. Reese began to settle into her new life. It did not take long for our family to realize that she was special. She did not behave like other dogs we knew. She didn't fetch or play, and she kept bumping into things. 
<laughs> you can see she's bumping into the she's bumping into the wall. Mama took Reese to the veterinarian and told him, "We think Reese may not be able to see very well." The veterinarian waved his hands in front of Reese's face and got no reaction. He checked her eyes. Reese was mostly blind and would eventually lose all of her sight. You'll be able to ask questions. You guys can all ask questions at the end. I promise you. That changed everything. We now understood why Reese was different. Blind dogs need extra help. She would walk right into the cats. She could not go downstairs by herself. You see her walking right into the cat? Yeah. And the cat would bop her on the head. Is she, is she still walking down the stairs? Yeah, she, she can't. Still blind? You'll find out. Reese loved being outside, but she could not go for walks like other dogs who could see. She ran into things. Reese needs help with some things, but there are so many things that she can do and enjoy on her own. She loves to roll in the grass on a warm, sunny day. Oh, and the beach? Reese loves to run in safe places. The beach is her favorite, even though she runs in circles. <laughs> Reese loved to take naps on the couch. Dad gradually warmed up to Reese and often takes naps with her. You take naps with her? I love to take a nap. Reese is full of love and fits perfectly into our family. She loves to snuggle anywhere she can. <laughs> Reese has lots of family and made many friends. She is a special dog and very well loved. When people first meet Reese and learn that she is blind, they often say, That is so sad. Reese is not sad. She can feel the love around her and shares it back. We are so happy that Reese joined our family. The end. Thank you guys, that was really sweet of you. Now, I do have a special guest. I, I think you guys are going to have to just wait here for just a minute while I go get her, okay? And then I can answer all the questions you have. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. So, um, is there a way I can get out that back door and come in? Yeah, that'd be Hi, everybody. Hi. This is Reese. She's the star of the book. I suppose I can, oh, here we go. Well, we don't exactly know how old she is because she's adopted. Um, the people at the the people at the um, adoption shelter thought she might be around four when we adopted her, but we think she was probably older. The vet told us she was older, so she's probably about fourteen or fifteen years old right now. She's an old dog. You can see she's got lots of gray hair, kind of like her father. Oh, you forgot. We'll come back to you. How about you right here? You have a cat? Reese has a love-hate relationship with cats. She has two cats that live with her as well. And as long as she stays away from the cat food, she does fine. But if she goes into the cat food, they'll bop her on the head. Just like the book. That's why we got the picture in the book that way. How about you in the red shirt? That's okay. How, how about we do this? Who has a dog? Raise your hand if you have a dog. I 
All right, just this one time, because we're not supposed to all talk at the same time. How about everybody says the name of their dog at the same time? I'll count. One, two, three. Oh, Excellent. How about who has a cat? All right, we'll do it one more time. We'll count to three. You can say your cat's name. One. We ought to say all three quick. One, two, three. Oh, no, that's not fair. Ah. <laughs> Reese loves salmon too. I love salmon. You have a question? She won't play fetch. She doesn't know how because you throw the ball. She doesn't know where it went. But she loves to run around on, a, on the grass. She likes to run around where it's safe. So if she senses she's in a grass patch and she listens, then um, she can run around, but she doesn't really know how to fetch because she can't see the...